Number two, we're going to visit the knees. You want to make sure that when you're belly dancing that your knees are bent. Keeping your knees bent is very important and a lot of times I see people doing a lot of movements but they start to straighten their knees and that's going to limit you quite a bit and it's going to throw off your entire body. And especially if you want to get really large movements, it, the more you bend your knees, the more movement and motion you're going to get. We do a lot of hip work and the knees help assist us in our hip work and if your knees aren't bent, it's going to be harder to get a large range of motion. And also it kind of helps you keep everything in line posture wise to keep your knees bent. Um, the majority of belly dancing movements are going to have a nice plie or, or a bend in your knee. Next, going up to the hips. The pelvis is a very important thing to keep in mind with belly dancing. And uh, it's also one that if you compromise it too much, um, it can lead to a lot of lower back problems and, and a lot of injury and strain to your body. So this next aspect of posture to me is extremely important. And what it is, is women naturally have a little curvature or a tendency to have more of a curvature at the bottom of their lower back right here. And it's beautiful, but when you're dancing, at least with belly dancing style, you want to take your pelvis and tilt it to a 45 degree angle. So you're going to take your abdominal muscles and just kind of let it go whoop, just like that. And then what that does is it helps protect, protect your lower back from injury. And it also just looks a lot better um, and it shows more technique and um, you're going to have the ability to do a lot of really cool moves with understanding where to keep this. And also, if you don't tuck your pelvis at a 45 degree angle, you're going to be dancing like this. And that just doesn't look as nice, right? So keep that pelvis tucked. So now, we've got our toes pointed forward, our knees bent, our pelvis tucked. The next part is our rib cage. I like to use the analogy of trying to lift your rib cage off of your diaphragm and kind of zip or pull everything up. So it's almost like you're trying to put on a pair of jeans that are a little bit too small for you and you're trying to get that zipper up. You zip everything up. And uh, you can also put your hands right here on your rib cage and help pull yourself up. And sometimes with certain people, kind of getting that feeling tends to help them out a little bit more. It just depends on your learning style and how you learn. But this is another thing that you can do to help assist you to understand proper rib cage placement in basic posture.